Good evening, Rascal and Joyers. I have done right. It's time for the abnormal barders. Yes, we have six skins to chase off today. We have the likes of the Shadowborn Sheepman of Double Door, the Constructor Thompson, we have the Sheepman of Waste Box, the Moonguard Door, the Lay Poncho, and the Black Diamond Custom Sim Gene. Of course, after that, we also have the likes of the regular skins, the skins that won't be appearing tonight, such as the Chainmail Head Wrap, Balls ILR 300, the Junkanaut AR, and the Cardboard Tools. So you're probably sitting there wondering, what on earth are you on about? Abnormals? Regular skins? What are you talking about? Well, if you were to look at the description right now, you'll see I've provided two videos. The first video is a short video that's about 60 seconds long, which will explain very briefly what an abnormal skin is and why we care so much. AKA, we're trying to put down a very fast bile down because we know these skins are going to be marketable at a set time every week. Uh, if that's not enough for you, if you want to learn a little bit more, such as identifying what is an abnormal skin and whatnot, please consider watching the second video. It's about 20 minutes long. It goes a lot more in depth. It will explain so much more and you'll probably be able to understand fully why we care so much so to be brief we're in it to try and be the fastest people to put a barter down for these skins because they will be marketable at a set time we're going to race try and put down a decent price and hope in the future we pick these up for a cheaper price and sell them for their actual proper prices and walk away with some sweet delicious profits as simple as that so what we're going to do now is we're going to discuss these skins we're going to figure out okay what price might we want to offer for them because Quite a lot of the time, you notice skins do go below their rust or prices. It's a given. But sometimes they don't. Sometimes they work out very nicely. And that's what we're here to try to identify. We're trying to figure out, are certain skins looking very good? What's the context? Are there any more potential skins for their collections that might potentially be accepted in the upcoming rust stores? We shall see. So sit back and relax. Let's start with the likes of that Shadowborn Sheet Middle Double Door. Right, so this has done just about 20,000 bare minimum sales, aka 20,000 subscribers. That's totally fine. Hasn't sold an absurd amount. It's actually matched up quite nicely with the likes of the Sheet Metal Single Door. That only did about 20,000 sales, but we will be surpassing that. Well, right now, that's comfortably in the positive. The whole collection's comfortably in the positive. Shadowborn Deplorable Collection has worked out ever so nicely. And I do expect more skins eventually, but the skin creators have taken a break from it for a while. Uh, the likes of Mr. Vase, for example, he returned to his porcelain collection. So you understand that. Keep that in mind. But still, at the end of the day, I do expect more. So keep an eye on the workshop and whatnot. Anyway, for this sheet metal double door, we also have to remind ourselves that back in February, we did have quite a lot of acceptances all of a sudden. Four skins accepted within two weeks. We were very scared. We were worried. We thought, oh no, these aren't going to be very nice investments. Well, about two, three months later, they're all in the positive very comfortably. Up 51%, up 81%, up 129%, and up 121%. So that's looking pretty pretty good however i should point this out when we saw one skin being accepted a good few months back suddenly we saw another one and another one and another one so you're going to probably be sitting there wondering hedge over the past weekend and as of monday did we see more sheet metal double door skins being submitted yes so of course i'm sure many of you are well aware Every single week with all the newest Rust Workshop skins that are submitted, I will go through all of them. I'll identify all the collection continuations and I'll make my Rust Workshop skin checks video. I will add chapters to all the collection continuations. Of course, if you go to the description right here, you can also see the collection link right here as well. And as I scroll all the way down to the very end for the deplorables, you will see that we have the likes of free sheet metal double doors being submitted with the likes of the cats and the dogs gang, uh, cats and dogs gang double door we have the likes of the koi sheet metal double door and of course a collection continuation neon vibes sheet metal double door so do consider watching these videos they will you know keep you all informed and whatnot uh, but yeah point i'm trying to get across is we potentially might have some more sheet metal double doors on horizon maybe maybe neon vibes would be pretty sweet we'll see but anyway if we do end up getting a lot more skins being accepted all of a sudden, they're not going to be, you know, this isn't going to be so special anymore, and the previous one's not so much. But I also want to bring this up as well. Ruskin prices at the moment are doing pretty good. And if you take a look at all the Sheet Metal Double Door skins that exist, I will quickly showcase to you that uh, every single marketable Sheet Metal Double Door is now in the positive. Even the likes of the Deep Sea Double Door, comfortably above with a 36% up. Uh, positive rating so yeah good 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 things are looking pretty sweet so by default i'm looking at that i'm expecting more from the collection we know sheepman and double doors tend to do quite all right however do keep this in mind you probably don't want to be holding on to these so much around the autumn fall seasonal dip what's wrong hedge what's what's up once we reach around September, October, November, all skins, they drop down in value. Yeah, less people playing the game, less demand for skins, skin prices do go down. But that's still months away. But keep it in mind, 
if you don't sell these at an appropriate time, you might be in trouble. Or maybe they do hold their value and work out nicely through the likes of the autumn full seasonal dip and then go up even higher around post-Christmas 2025. That's still months away, but just keep it in mind, all right? So, as I said, if we do expect more skins on the horizon, well... I will point this out, with all the Shadowborn skins, each time we saw a brand new deplorable skin being accepted, these just kept spiking demand, spiking price. So when we saw the likes of the Sheep and the Door being accepted, Garage Door went up. When we saw the likes of the Large Box being accepted, both of these went up. Uh, you get the idea. So with every brand new one, all the pre-existing ones have worked out ever so nicely. It's all in the positive. I'm feeling pretty confident in it. So price, price, price. What are we going to offer for it? I think I'm going to go pretty strong in it. I feel like people will be appreciating the design in the future. It looks very cool. Vase and Cubist have produced some very nice quality pieces of work. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing some skins for likes of the Double Armored Door. Maybe a small box, a Ruck skin, who knows. But looking at, the, looking at this, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do $1.80 to $2.50. Yes. I think... At some point, eventually, it will go down below its uh, rust or price. Eventually, at some point. But that would be like the autumn fall seasonal dip. There might be a period of time where it's going to struggle a little bit. But I don't imagine it will go down that bad. So, $1.80 to $2.50 seems very appropriate. I feel like it will do rather nicely from here and now. And like I said, 20,000 sales doesn't feel like a ridiculous amount. So, by tomorrow... If we do end up buying quite a lot between us and whatnot, maybe it goes up to 21 or 22,000 sales. Mm, it's fine. That's not ridiculous. Even the likes of the Lunar New Year Double Door, the... Uh well, I've already forgotten the name of it, sorry. <laughs> Long Double Door, that's it. That did just about 39,000 bare minimum sales. And even now it's currently sitting here at about $4.50. So, yeah, looking pretty good to me. So, yeah. That's looking pretty positive. I'm confident, so that's what I'm going to be going with. If you feel confident as well, offer just as much. Maybe offer a little bit more. Maybe push up to 270 if you feel so, you know, feel confident. But personally, I'm going as much as about 250. So that's my answer. Let's move on to the likes of the constructed Thompson. So uh, I was anticipating this was going to do about 15,000 sales so far. We probably will be matching up to that. Last week, we literally did just have a pom uh, bombshell Thompson. That's already down by 41%. Not looking very good, fortunately. Wow, Berserker Thompson went up. Oh, okay. I didn't notice this. You've been rising up in price. That's cool. Did someone buy you out? Looks like it. With only 11 quantity, you are rising upwards, so that's looking pretty cool, but is that... No, just looks like normal demand. Okay, well, looks like all skins across the board are improving, so that's looking pretty good for the likes of this, then. All right, so this did a lot more sales compared to that, but this seems to be a lot more interesting based on its design. People do appreciate this constructed design, the Legos. It looks ever so sweet. It's mostly white. I did bring this up because someone kept asking me, Hedge... Is it more valuable because it's a white skin? Well, I mean, you do have all the black and yellow, but maybe it's not not as noticeable from far away. But I did make comparisons to the likes of the... Um, we have the No Mercy Thompson, the Doodle Thompson, and we also have the likes of the Glory Thompson. Now, all of those are mostly white Thompsons, and they're all comfortably in the positive. That's just about $14. That's about $4, and that's just about... Three dollars, yeah, so they're all in the positive. They're working out quite all right. Do you reckon this could also end up in the same sort of situation? I'm very 50-50 in the sense of Thompson's haven't been super easy as nice investments recently, have they? Um, it used to be so much easier. You used to just be able to do a very decent buy order, wait a while, you'd end up picking them up, and you could easily flip them for like double the price because, yeah, it was very easy to pick them up for a cheaper price. But Thompson's more recently, it's been very easy to pick them up, but to sell them for a profit, oh! <laughs> so yeah, uh, at the very least, we rarely see a Thompson skin sell below a dollar, so that's a nice little positive. But that right there, 15,000 sales, if we were to meet, uh, you know, reach up to that by tomorrow, it wouldn't be that much, it wouldn't be a ridiculous amount. Let's also quickly compare the Thompsons, the, the other white Thompsons, how much did they sell? I just want to bring that up real quickly. So uh, the Doodle Thompson did 16,500 sales, the No Mercy Thompson did 26,000 bare minimum sales, and the glory thompson only did about a thousand seven hundred oh okay then all right then um hmm. all right no you do look pretty interesting then all right maybe i do go a little bit stronger at least compared to what we had last week with the bombshell thompson i think i'm gonna go stronger on you i think i'm gonna do one dollar twenty to one dollar eighty 
you know if you have more than one account very helpful if you notice you're starting to buy a bunch of these with your higher price buy order then of course you could just remove it and keep the lower price buy order but if you can only do with one account figure out what's best for you we'll see what happens but that right there I feel like it could have a bit of a better future ahead of it. So $1.20 to $1.80 will be my position. If you want to offer a little bit more, the choice is up to you. But do be aware, if you offer higher prices and this goes down in price, you're going to get dumped on. Be prepared. All right, so cool. Let's move on to the next skin. Sheep Metal Base Box. So immediately, I've got to bring this up. We have the final uh, skin. Yep. So originally, Wooden Base Box was actually the first skin to be submitted, but it wasn't accepted. Stone Base was. High Quality Metal Base was. Sheep Metal Base was but mr 38 considering you know what's happened recently he probably just decided maybe i just need to do a version two maybe that'll work out quite all right so on the horizon do we see more of this collection yes it does it end there though will there be like a shelter will they maybe make like uh large box versions of them we'll see maybe a rug that has all of them in the picture we'll see um i don't think we'll probably be seeing more out of this unless i'm you know I, i'm I'm more than happy to be surprised, I'll put it that way. I wouldn't be surprised if that's accepted, though. Like, we've already got all three so far. To see that, wouldn't be surprised. You know, wouldn't, wouldn't be surprising. Anyway, I've got to bring this up. With every small box of these being accepted, the pre-existing ones have spiked in demand, spiked in price. However, as you can see, they're only up by a fair bit. Early up by 9%, early up by 5%. Now, I also want to bring this up. The sheet metal base box is matching up to the amount of sales that the high quality metal base box reached, uh, just about 14,000 bare minimum sales. So, I feel like that's going to be perfectly fine. With this being accepted potentially on the horizon, this would also get a nice bit of a boost. So, if you're going to question Hedge, does it look okay? I will sit here and say it does look more positive rather than bad, at the very least. Um, but I am still concerned. As we reach to a point where we have all of the skins being accepted, the full set, if you will, are they going to be appreciated altogether, or will you know? Will they start you know, potentially fighting for your attention, fighting for your love? Um, will you be willing to put the effort in to make sure that you have all of the designs out, or are you just going to pick one that you mostly like compared to the rest? That would lead to the other ones going down in price. As of now. It does look like they're holding up okay. I feel like I should look at this more positively. I think this will be an okay thing to do a fairly decent barter on. So I think it'll be another situation of one dollar twenty to one dollar eighty. I'm still concerned at some point that it could uh, it could go a little bit bad. Um, but one dollar twenty to one dollar eighty, that's okay, and that's better compared to what we sort of what we did with the previous skin. So that's my answer. That's what I'm going with. It's up to you how much you offer. So yeah. All right, so small box skins. Uh, we should also bring this up. They are not exactly the best of investments. Last year we did get quite a lot of them being accepted, but I'm starting to notice more of these starting to go up in the positive. I am starting to notice that. So maybe we will have a nice turnaround as we get right in the middle of the summer, which will be taking place over the course of next month or so. We'll be seeing potentially a lot more people playing the game. We'll probably be seeing a lot of demand for all the skins. Will all of this potentially go in the positive at some point? I wish, but being a little bit more brutally honest, I don't expect that to happen. But at the very least, these base boxes seem to be holding up quite alright at the moment. I'm reasonably optimistic, so I'm going to put down a decent bard off of them. Let's scroll down a little bit more with the likes of the Moon Guard door. Right, so, over the past weekend and as of Monday, did we see a continuation? The answer is... No. Didn't happen. Okay, well, alright. We'll accept that then. Maybe they want to take their time to cook a little bit longer on the likes of a sequel skin, but it's a Sheepman door, and as we know of the likes of Sheepman door skins, there's a lot of them. That right there is selling for $2.49. If I just do this real quickly, uh, can we list all of these Sheepman doors by highest price? At $2.49, it's in the upper bracket. Like, it is not that far off from the most expensive Sheepman door skins. Do we notice a bit of a problem here? Yes, uh, there's a lot of cheap ones, and this is a problem. Why? Well, consider this. For the $2.49 price, I could buy any one of these skins instead. And, you know, after just a little bit of scrolling, we're already halved in price. We're already down to like $1.20. Do you notice the problem here? Yes. Sheepman of Doors are not very reliable uh, investments. And please take this into consideration. We are going to see a lot more Sheepman of Doors skins appearing at some point in the future. It's going to happen. It's like a guarantee.
We're only halfway through the year almost, and we've already had 15 skins being accepted, and last year we had 13 total. So, what, we're only five months in, we could easily see a few more skins being accepted this month, and we could actually outdo last year and have even more skins compared. So, uh, yeah, that very likely will be going below our store price. Uh, how, how low will it go? Um, look, let me put it this way. Unless we see continuations, unless we see this uh, Owl Fiend set actually, you know, turn into a set, I don't expect it to work out very nicely. I mean, even Blocky, that went down by 30% at one point, seems to have risen back up in price a fair bit. Shadowborn did go down pretty hard as well. Shadowborn Shimon Ador did go down to around $2 at some point, but with more continuations appearing, it went back up in the positive. I really hope it does work out all right, but this was made by skin creators that literally got their first ever skin accepted with that appearing. So, we'll see, but I'm not very optimistic. So my answer is, that for the price I'm going to offer to that, I think I'm only going to do 80 cents to $1.20. Yeah, it looks cool, it looks nice, but... <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm going to roll with. Le Poncho, right, so what are we doing with the likes of you? Because you did not sell that much, at least when we make a comparison to the likes of the Golden Chains Poncho, the other transparent Poncho, well that's comfortably in the positive as of now. I just want to bring this up, but if you actually look at the listings, you can see there's 68 as we go over to here. It's fairly well spread out. There was an attempt for continuations. Uh, they weren't accepted, unfortunately. But, um, hmm... What do you reckon? Chat, do you reckon Lay will do just as good as the likes of the Gold Chains Poncho? And also, what happened over the past weekend? We did see a continuation appearing. Sky Noise and Yuij MK, they made a beanie hat. Yep, we got a beanie hat. So get a good look at that. That's looking pretty cute. That's looking nice and flowery. And, you know, if you pair it with the likes of the uh, coconut uh, swimsuit and whatnot, you look ever so cute. <laughs> Um, hey, that's a pretty cool looking combination right there. Uh, do you want to be a hula girl? Well, it's not hard. Take a look at all of that. So if we do see the likes of that beanie hat being accepted, and it will be the first beanie hat that's been in a rust store for about eight years, so that'll be interesting. Uh, maybe it might work out quite all right. Maybe it'll work out very nicely. I don't actually think this would be going down that bad if it does. Like, I think it's going to end up very similar to the likes of the Golden Chains Poncho. Will we see even more? Will they do, like, burlap shoes so they have, like, I don't know, what's the, um, uh, we could have, like, transparent burlap shoes where, the, where we have flowers around our ankles as well. That can be done. That could happen. I might have to message them that. I think that's a, that'd be a cool idea. Uh, yeah, you could have, like, a full-on, like, dan flower dancing set and whatnot. That'd be interesting. All right, okay. That's that's looking pretty interesting. That's looking a little bit optimistic. I can't. Male character. Yes, you can. Don't you? Start caring what other people think about you. Live your life the way you want to. Just don't be very annoying about it. <laughs> right, anyway, so, Le Poncho. Poncho's by default not very nice investments. However, in this position, it sold a lot less compared to that Golden Chains Poncho. Very similar, but much more flowery and uh, goofy. Well, and then Gold Chains Poncho is goofy as well, but you get the idea. Nice and colourful. You're probably not going to be running around with that, but... I'm pretty sure if you just want to dress up uh, being all silly, it's a perfect setup. So, we'll see. We'll see. Um, Alright, I think for that, I might probably do $1, $1 to $1.50. $1 to $1.50. Let me just quickly compare to all the recent poncho skins we've done, uh, or had... And, uh, well, that went down pretty bad, down 42%. That went down pretty bad, down 55%. That went down pretty bad, 50%. At the very least, with the likes of uh, Curse Poncho, that was in the very first rust store of the year, the uh, post-Christmas rust store. That right there had sold a lot, so... That's got far too many in circulation. So, uh, yeah, you can see that pretty much all, most of these ponchos haven't fared very well. But that has, and this is similar. So, yeah, I think $1 to $1.50 will probably be a reasonable shout. If you really do feel like that lay poncho is going to have a very nice, interesting future out of it, offer more. The choice is up to you. Tim Shi, that's just a joke. Don't worry about that. All right, chill out. Relax. All right. Black Diamond Custom SMG. So, of course, we have the buffs to the likes of the Custom SMGs, but when you take a look at all the skins, you might notice... Well, they haven't really budged much. That's uh, that's a bit unfortunate. But I will point this out. I have noticed at the very least, you don't actually see any of these now listed below a dollar. Custom SNGs were down pretty bad, and you used to see quite a lot of them listed below a dollar, but not, not anymore. Is that improvement? 
I guess, but they're still not really, you know, mostly in the positive, so it's still a bit of a concern. So looking at the likes of this Black Diamond Custom SMG, selling for $3 at the moment. Over the past weekend, did we see any more cust uh, <clears throat> Black Diamond skins being produced? No, we had an Ice and Fire Sword. Why not a Black Diamond Sword? That'd be cool. Anyway, back over to here. So with the likes of what we currently have, uh, it's a weapon-only collection, as we look over to here. The AK is only down by 6%. The LR300 has improved. At one point, it was $5. Then it went back down in price. <laughs> uh, but the Black Diamond Custom SMG, I still don't feel like it's going to be doing perfectly fine. I do still expect it to go below its rust or price. So for that $3 starting price right there, nah, I think I'll be doing $1 to $1.50. I expect it to do better compared to most custom SMGs, but I still expect it to suffer a fair bit, so $1 to $1.50. And that, in fact, was the last uh, abnormal skin. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and start talking about all of these uh, regular skins. So remember, regular skins only become marketable when the rust all rotates tomorrow. So keep that in mind. Let's start talking about the likes of the chainmail stuff. Uh, chainmail head wrap. Tim Shi, relax. Can you stop, like, crying about that? I'm trying to get this sorted. Chainmail... Trap. So, this is probably going to be matching up to the amount of sales that we see here with the likes of this poncho. That's fine. And on the horizon, over the past weekend, we did see the likes of a continuation appearing. Legacy did, in fact, make burlap shirt and pants. That's looking pretty cool. Let's go get a quick look at the likes of all of it being dressed up right there. Yes. Here's a metal man. Yes. He might need some oil. But yeah, you get the idea. That looks goofy, silly. And hey, if you want to run around and pretend you're a knight, you got the option. So that's a burlap set. That's a primitive set. Do you like it? Does it appeal to you? How often are you even making a burlap head wrap? Yeah, we've got to question that. But anyway, primitive collection. If it does happen, if we do see the other two skins potentially being accepted, I would expect another spike in demand, spike in price. But please acknowledge this. That poncho, whilst it did spike in demand, a spike in price when the head wrap appeared, it lasted a day, and then it went back in the negative again. Will the exact same thing happen all over again? If so... Be prepared for such a thing. Or maybe with more skins, with more of a collection, maybe it actually holds its value this time. We shall see. There's only 57 of those on the Steam market. But like I said, it still went forward back. It just went, it still went back. So keep that in mind. All right. Anyway, with the likes of that over there, the price, if we do end up seeing very similar behavior with the likes of that poncho, well... Do you know what I should have done? I should have looked at the poncho, see how bad that went. So, of course, if you are aware, we had many, 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 many ponchos being accepted over the past, like, two or so years. And this poncho, whilst it was one of the first to be accepted in the new age, the newer batch, uh, it did dramatically lose its value pretty quickly. So, with what we currently see here, this did go down to around 60 cents at one point. Hmm. And then over to here, just before we even had the sequel, 50 cents. Right then. So, I'm not annoyed, Tim. Please... Stop talking about it. Right. So with what we currently have going on here, I think I'm probably only going to do 50 cents to 60 cents. Does that sound all right to you? Right. Okay. Let's move on to the next thing. Right. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the likes of the Bullseye LR300. So over the past weekend, uh, the only notable LR300 skins that have been doing very nicely are the ones from Notable Collection. So Black Diamond LR300, you did very nicely. Uh, Arctic Skull, you did very nicely. But all of these skins have gone back in price. They've gone back down a fair bit. So this was up to about $3 at one point. Redemption LR300 has actually retained its value. It's been doing okay there. But even with the likes of the Blackout LR300, at one point, that was going all the way up to about 5 to 6 dollars now it's back down to around three and a half dollars not terrible but they were doing better and then they slipped down more listings have probably appeared most likely so take that into consideration now i ask you bullseye collection do you consider this a very notable collection i'll be brutally honest with you i don't think so and if you look at all of the lr 300s we had over the past year or so they haven't been performing very well but of course the lr 300 back then compared to now is different but looking at this only doing about 9,000 sales bare minimum. Do you honestly think this has sold a lot? Do you honestly think people look at this and thinking, oh yes, this is the one I need. For that same price, you could have gone and bought a Blackout LR300. Of course, it has gone up in price now, but you get the idea. Anyway, nice skull design, green coloration, pea green, useful for pretty much every single environment, mostly. Yes, the pea green is light enough for it still stands out in the grassy areas, but either way, that's still potentially a problem. But you should, should consider, are you actually like just using your iron sights with the LR300? 
probably using some sort of attachment so maybe that doesn't really concern you okay that's cool so overall with the likes of that could it still work out quite all right mm, didn't see a continuation appear this past weekend so uh i'll be honest with you i don't expect it to do super great don't accept I, I don't expect it to do terribly either but just to be safe i'm probably just going to do 80 cents to one dollar that's what I'm going to do. We'll see how it turns out eventually. But LR300s, if we could just look at all of them, and also could we look at them based on lowest price as well. So if I go do that right now, lowest price, please. There we go. Uh, yeah, we do have quite a lot of these still. Oh, no, it's wrong way around. <laughs> we do have quite a lot of these down to around a dollar. There's a lot of these that exist, and there's still quite a lot of these below a dollar as well. So please take that into consideration there's a lot of options and for the price of that you could buy two lr300 skins it's not hard to do will they be nice skins uh, in the eye of the beholder right moving on we oh uh, what price were we going to offer 80 cents to one dollar that's what i've already said that let's move on okay Junkernaut AR, well, the uh, previous Junkernaut skin, the MP5, that did not do super great, did it? it uh, it's down bad already, down 40%. Awkward. So, uh, Junkernaut AR, you've done a little bit more sales, but are you going to be all right? Are you going to retain your value? I highly doubt it. If you look at all the AKs that have come out over the past year or so, you would notice that, well, only one or two are doing all right, and the rest... Not so much. Far too many AK-47 skins exist. Yes, you got the likes of the Thunder Gold doing all right, but all the others? Uh, uh, let's see here. Down 40, down 1. Okay, Black Diamond's doing okay. It's only down by 1%, so that could easily turn around and end up in the positive if it gets a few more sales. Happy Easter, down 52. Skull Force, down 42. Prototype, 7, 7164, down 64. You get the idea. Scroll down a little bit more. Oh, Abyss is doing a little bit better now. And Ninja AR. Okay, we're starting to notice some are doing all right. It's getting close to the summertime. Certain skins will be being, being bought out. Prices will be improving. And over down to here, we also have the likes of the Kiss AR. But the vast majority, in the negative, pretty down bad. So just understand this. That right there, look at its design. Is that going to be appealing to the vast majority of people that play this game? Being brutally honest, I don't think so. With the amount that's sold, it's not surprising. So my answer is, with that, I think I'm just going to do a 60 cent to 80 cent buy order. I wouldn't be surprised if we see another AK-47 being accepted tomorrow. Wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Then over to here, we had the likes of the cardboard tools. Someone brought this up earlier. Hedge, do you reckon these sold too little? I'll be honest with you. In the grand scheme of things, yep, yeah, it's still very low, but... I did have a talk very recently discussing the likes of the uh, manipulations that are currently going on the Steam market. Uh, it doesn't really matter how much have sold, to be honest. Yes, whilst it will be a whole lot more appealing for uh, skins that sold hardly anything for uh, manipulators because they want to buy the majority of the stock to, um, you know, be able to manipulate and whatnot. We've still seen the likes of the Hell Rock, for example getting minute plate and that still did like twenty thousand sales so honestly yes that would potentially be a minute plate at some point along with many other skins yes much much lower overall uh, qu uh quantity will be a lot more appealing but let's also consider this you're probably not going to see it happen maybe for another year or so the manipulators don't want to jump into something where it's super obvious they want to grab something that's not really been noticed that much for a very long time like I, w I do want to bring this up there was an ak that came out somewhat recently let's just quickly go ahead and try and find it i believe it just started to have a bit of a random buyout you know the first initial uh instance and where is it where is it here it is remember the suprematism ar that only did 5400 sales that came out during the beginning of november six months ago or seven now i believe well uh if we quickly look, look at this in the steam market someone jumped in and bought out a big chunk of the stock so do you know what I mean? Where I sit here and say you've got to wait a long time to probably actually see something happen. Well, this right now is still only sitting here at about $1.20. But yeah, someone yesterday did jump in, did buy out some stock, and it wasn't even that much. But yeah, you can't really rely on something like that. So by default, all the hatchet skins that have come out over the past year or so, how are they currently holding up? Well, as we look over to here, you'll notice that uh, the vast majority of them are in the negative. Pixel Decay Hatchet only sold for 99 cents, so that's in the positive, but it's still at $1. Inflatable Hatchet, $1.12. Rebirth Hatchet, $1.10. Coliseum Hatchet, $1.06. Uh, hatchet from Hell, $1.22. You get the idea. They're all around a dollar. People don't seem to care about hatchet and pickaxe skins. Uh, you might have noticed the likes of the Blacksmith's Hatchet recently being pumped. Yep, that is happening. If you happen to own any of these, you might want 
might want to sell them as soon as possible because that definitely 100% is a successful pump. Currently listed at $12 with a buy order right there just under, but if you are well aware, that's definitely 100% being pumped. So take the opportunity whilst you can, sell them to those high buy orders and grab that, you know, easy $12. So uh, look at the pickaxes real quickly. What do you see? And the answer is da -da 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 -da, pretty much the exact same thing. $1.07, $1.11, $1.10, $1.05, $0.89, cents, uh, $0.89, cents, uh, $1.00. I'm going to stop talking too fast. You get the idea. They're not very appealing. And the cardboard design, well, I'll give it... I, I will give it, it. It does look pretty interesting. A bit goofy, a bit silly. Do you reckon that will help it out enough, though? Or will people just stop caring after a week or two? That will probably be the most likely answer. So with the likes of that, did we even see a continuation over the past weekend from Little Ranger? No, didn't happen. Maybe we'll see some more in the future? We'll see. But as of now, don't expect much from it. Wouldn't be surprised if it ends up around close to a dollar. Therefore, I'm probably only going to do 60 cents to 80 cents as a buy order. Yes, maybe it gets manipulated in the future, but who knows when, and that's not something I'm going to be sitting around and waiting for. Maybe you might want to pick some of these up for a cheap price and just hold on to them and see what happens. You can do that. That's fine. It's up to you if you want to do it that way. But yeah, you get the idea. That's pretty cool. That's all the skins for the current Rust store. And now we've just got to sit here and wait for the likes of the abnormals. So we could probably sit here now and start figuring out what potentially could we see appearing in an upcoming Rust store. What do we have over here? It's the newest top picks list. And of course, if you've seen the likes of my Rust Workshop skin checks the previous week, you might have seen all these skins already. But you do have the likes of the Gold Chains Burlap Head Wrap there with its very goofy looking hairstyle. Yeah, I did bring that up quite a fair, quite a fair bit. We've also got the likes of Banana Leaf, Hide Horse Neck and uh, Skirt. Maybe we'll get some primitive skins. Uh, scrolling down over to here, Chameleon Roadside Gloves and Boots. Mm, couldn't hurt. We've also got the likes of Norseman Tier 2. Mm, we've got Prototype 7164 Tier 3. We got the likes of First Contact Large Box, maybe a Panda Furnace. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Porcelain Rug, please. Come on now. This has ridiculous support, and yet it still wasn't accepted. And yet they randomly pick out a skin Vase made five weeks ago instead. I don't know why that happened. I don't hate the fact that we got the Shadowborn Sheet Metal Double Door, but it does come across as a bit strange. Uh, scroll down a little bit more. You've got the likes of Soul Light Collection there. Will we see the likes of the Transparent Sheet Metal Door potentially being accepted? What about the Tomb of the Octopus Sheet Metal Double Door? Yep, that was submitted last week. Could you imagine that? Another Sheet Metal Double Door? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and of course, as we scroll down more and more, plenty of interesting skins that could be up for grabs. I just noticed the Nomad Apocalypse, uh, Apocalypse Nomad um, Python. You've got the likes of a TNT satchel. I really do like this Necronomicon satchel charge. That looked really cool. So, Glows looks at you with three different eyes. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice design. So I'll give it that, Mr. Uh, Vault Illusion. That's looking pretty interesting. And of course, with all the recent submissions, all the skins that appeared over the past weekend and as of Monday, well, as I said, not going to be surprised at all if we see this wooden base box being accepted. Maybe the Soul Light wood small box potentially gets accepted. Maybe, possibly. You've got the likes of some interesting doors over here as well. Oh, yeah, here you go, Tiger Crown. This collection started off back in 2016. Yeah, actually, no, it might be 2015. No, it was 2016, yeah. So it's really old. Um, yeah, so the first one was the um, sleeping bag back in 2016, then the furnace in 2020, and now, maybe in 2024, we'll get this sheet in a door. And uh, what's it in reference to? Well, uh, originally, just tigers, duh, but we are potentially going to have an actual tiger added to the game. So if I go to here, tiger, I'm on the rust commits, by the way, and uh, yeah, they've been mentioning some sort of tiger. Why is why 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 is there going to be a tiger in Rust? Um, pet kitty, yay! Pet the kitty. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, oh, uh, I'll go back over to here. Um, so, uh, yes, plenty of interesting skins. Please consider watching my Rust Workshop skin checks to be aware of all the new content. Redemption pump shotgun. Mm, couldn't hurt. If we scroll down a little bit more, I do believe we have some interesting looking Thunder Girl tools. Will we get tools two weeks in a row? Maybe, possibly. Morphus and Micro did a lovely piece of work right there. Scroll down a little bit more. What do we have going on over here? We've got the likes of Alien Red, LR300. Yep. So you know the Alien Red AK-47, Glow the Dark Side? Oh, yes. We've got like a little sequel here from MDE. It's been a very long time, but... Couldn't say no. And yes, of course, he also produced a version with a glow sight. He went and did it. Now, will it be accepted? No, not allowed. It wouldn't happen. This is a rule. You can't do this anymore. But um, he did it just for a laugh, I'm sure. 
much like the uh, AK, maybe, but no, 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 not happening. But it does have competition. We do have the likes of the Apocalypse Nomad and the Porcelain LR300. So if I go over to here, aim down the site for the Apocalypse Nomad. Yep, you got some transparency right there. Where's the circle? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, following that theme of the uh, modified aim down the site, and uh, over to here we got the likes of the Porcelain LR300, lots of white, blue, and gold tint. Oh yes. So over to here, real quickly, can we get a quick look at the aim site for this as well? Because you might notice it has a very similar aim site to what we just saw with the likes of the uh, Apocalypse Nomad. They both have transparency in the aim site. So that's looking pretty appealing. Which one's your favourite? Feel free to comment below. So we'll see if any of those get accepted tomorrow. I've already mentioned the likes of the lay, pom uh, the lay beanie hat, the chainmail burlap shirt and whatnot. We do have the likes of the Desert Beast tier 2. That potentially could be a thing. I mean, it would be the final piece for the likes of that collection, or the core pieces more specifically. So, hey, why not, Jay? Maybe it might work out quite all right. We shall see. We shall see. So plenty of interesting things that could come out. Maybe Daft Punk. Maybe... Maybe, maybe Daft Punk. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So that's that. We've pretty much said everything we need to say. I don't expect it to be an early rust or tomorrow. It'll probably be fairly normal, like 8 o'clock in the evening UK. So with that, let's skip ahead and do the builders. And uh, yeah, simple as that. So. All right, we're here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be focusing the double doors. And then honestly, whatever appears afterwards, I'll be fine with. So, yeah, come on, one o'clock, here we go. And will we see Potter Builders? The answer is maybe. Haven't seen them that much recently, or rather, they haven't been offering or requesting that much with their builders, have they? And uh, there we go, 300 builders instantly. Great. Awesome. I like that. <laughs> right. Am I slow? Just a little bit. Right, what we're doing over here. Uh, we're going to go do point eight two. Yes, and then we're going to do 50. Do you know what? I want to go do a second bar order immediately on that double door. Right, okay. So I'm going to go do two, and I'm going to go request 50 of you. Yes. That's fine. Cool. Let's go back over to here. Right. Constructed Thompson. All right, I'm going to think about this. Um... Will you be all right? You got a lot of support already. Damn. Okay, that's good to see. I appreciate that. I respect that. I put a good barder down on that. People like the Thompson. That's good to see. That's good to see. There's a lot of barders being put down on that. Right. I understand you're probably going to have some problems. You're 150 at the moment. That's what we said. Okay. Um. I'll just do that. Okay. And then we've got the Moonguard door, but it hasn't appeared yet. Let's go bring these over here. No. Right, let's go do those secondary barders. Do you know what? I feel like I've done enough barders now for the video. What we'll do is we'll skip ahead now, and then we'll go look at all the support afterwards and question if we actually want to go jump in and buy some of those skins. All right, all right people, we're back. So it's been almost 15 minutes, and as you can see, we've got prices and all the skins. They are all now on the market, and we can go do that little thing we do with the abnormal barder support. So first up, we have the Shadowborn Sheepman of Double Door. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, that right there has barders going all the way up to two dollars eighty. It's a two dollar ninety nine skin. If you were wanting to buy a skin this week, this is for sure a perfect candidate. So look at that, loads of barders pushing all the way above one dollar, all the way up to two dollars, and cruising all the way through two dollars, all the way up to almost three dollars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that has perfect support. So like I said, I'm very optimistic for its future. I do expect more Shadowborn skins to be produced. I do expect more Shadowborn skins to be accepted. Fingers crossed. And, well, at the moment, with that support, I don't expect it to be going down in price anytime soon. All the recent Sheepman of Double Door skins we had have performed very nicely, but the only concerning matter is, are we suddenly going to start seeing a whole lot more Sheepman of Double Doors? If that starts to happen, oh dear. All right. So over the course of the rest of this week, you very likely will be seeing a lot more listings appearing on the Steam market. It very likely will reach to around $3, maybe a little bit below. Potentially, by a bit, you know, maybe it goes down to two dollars ninety. <laughs> but point I'm trying to get across is, can't help but assume this is going to have a pretty fun summer. I think the whole Shadowborn collection is going to have a pretty fun summer. So let's see if it gets appreciated. Let's see if it rises up ever so nicely throughout the likes of June and July. We'll have to wait and see. Right, so that's looking pretty good. As I said, perfectly fine thing to consider buying. As I go over to here, Constructed Thompson selling for two dollars forty nine right now. Well, the bar has already gone up to dollar fifty ish. Well. Okay, I will put this out. That's my bar order there. 
I ended up doing a one dollar ninety buy order. Um, I must have got the currencies mixed up, but uh, don't worry. <laughs> I'll keep that there for now. I'll see how this uh, plays out. Fifteen thousand sales isn't really that much. We'll see if it slowly. You know, if we if we see tons of stock appearing, all right, maybe I should remove that second buy order. But I don't have to worry about anything for a reasonable amount of time. Okay. Now, if you're going to sit there and say, "Oh, I'm, I might want to get some of these," you could just do a strong buy order. You could go above me. You could do a two dollar buy order, like this guy here with a two dollar thirty one buy order. Yeah, he's going to buy two of those. I won't be surprised in the slightest. I fully expect that to happen. So, yeah, if you want some of these for a cheaper price, go put down a stronger buy order. You'll probably be picking some up. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. Like I said. We do have quite a, not that many White Thompsons, and I think that's white enough, and I think it will probably get some appreciation. We'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think you're better off just doing a bar on that one. Over to here with the Lay Poncho. This didn't sell that much, and I'm the highest bar order at $1.55. We do have a guy here with a $1.85 bar order. Yeah, he's got the idea. If you really want this, you could just probably go put down like a $1.80 bar order, $1.90 bar order. Hey, you could put down a two dollar barter if you want i don't know how this is going to behave but it has sold significantly less compared to the golden chains poncho we do have a potential continuation in the works if it gets accepted tomorrow that'd be cool we haven't had a beanie um hat skin for a very very long time we already established that earlier but yeah we'll see we'll see so as of now if you really wanted some you're better off just sticking with doing a barter um but I don't expect that many listings. I think this might have a pretty interesting future where it's just going to have a, a severe lack of uh, submissions or um, um, listings, and it just happens to rise up in price because of that. We'll see. We'll see. Moving on, what do we have over here? The sheet metal base box. So uh, it felt reliable. I did a fairly decent buy order. I did a $1 buy order. I did the $1.90 buy order here, selling for $2.49 in Rustor. It doesn't look like it's sold in the same amount. It's matched up quite perfectly to the high quality metal base box. And looking at this, well, if I buy them for $1.90, I could probably flip them for a decent price if they end up around the same price as the high quality metal base box. I'm good. I'll make some little profits but you know if i buy a bunch of them it's going to lead to a much better profit overall so you get the idea that right there again you could just probably stick with doing a two dollar buy order yeah and you very likely will be buying some yep then over to here with the likes of the black diamond custom smg selling for two dollars 99 in the rust store and well those buy orders they're not near two dollars 99 are they so maybe we'll see the likes of uh, custom smgs getting a lot more appreciation with more people playing we'll see but uh, oh, um, yeah, we haven't seen it happen just yet, have we? Um, in terms of the skin prices, we haven't seen positivity. So we'll see. Uh, maybe the lowest price skins will go much higher than just barely over a dollar. I hope so. But yeah, if you really want it, just go to put down a $2 barter. You very likely will be buying a bunch of those. And then we have the Moon Guard door selling for $2.49. But I can't help but assume things will be a little bit all right at some point in the future. We will be seeing even more sheet metal doors being accepted. That very likely will be losing interest. But if we do see continuations uh, or resubmissions of the previous Moon Guard skins, I can't help but assume that potentially could have an interesting future ahead of it. But there's plenty of deplorable collections actively trying to get a skin accepted at the moment. So I wouldn't rely upon that. We'll see. But yeah, everybody just stuck with a bar around a dollar. It is what it is. So overall, uh, only one skin's looking super reasonably safe, and it's that. And, uh, well... Someone's just going to put down another bar order. Oh, were we already there? I don't know. Okay, so point still remains. That's looking very strong. That's looking very supportive. It doesn't look like it'll be going down that bad in price for a very long time. I do expect more from the Shadowborn collection. I think that's probably a perfect pickup. So if you feel like spending money, yes, that is a perfectly fine thing to consider buying. We've had plenty of people kind of asking that today. Well, now we've got proof. That looks stable. That looks good. Much like with last week's uh, Blackout Sap. So it's nice to see skins like this performing very nicely as of recent. But now we're going to go spend more money. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. That's the whole idea. You're going to go buy stuff so you can sell it for a better price in the future. Well, it makes more sense then, doesn't it? So, yeah. All right, then. So we'll see what the final sales are by tomorrow. The rust or rotation will, of course, be again tomorrow. When will it happen? No idea. I'm expecting at least around... Usually, on average, it's around 8 o'clock in the evening UK time. That's my expectation. It could be earlier. I would be surprised if that was going to happen. It's not a force wipe update rust or rotation, so... We'll see. We'll see. But, um... Yeah, I believe it's going to probably be around 8 o'clock in the evening. So that's my guess. That's my estimate. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, if you're watching this on the Thursday, you know, if you're on a lunch break or something, you might want to consider making a move for the likes of these before it's too late. 
I was too late in buying more blackout saps last week. And, well, at the moment, they're still holding up very, very nicely. So, don't miss out on potential. Uh, <laughs> cool. So, that's all said. That's all talked about. Thank you very much for watching me today. I greatly appreciate it. I will be streaming tomorrow. Look in the description of this video right now. You'll see links to all my socials. My Twitch will be there. And I'll be on at around 8 o'clock in the evening UK time tomorrow. We'll be waiting and anticipating all the new skins and we'll be doing a few giveaways here and there because i'm generous i say right then so thank you very much for watching i greatly appreciate it catch you all later thank you and goodbye